I'm now joined on the sports mix by the head coach of Hedgesville football, Matt Faircloth. Coach Faircloth, your team unfortunately falls 45 nothing last week against Hoover. Searching through that game, though, what were some positives that you were able to take away? I got a lot of you. A lot of our younger, younger kids reps. Um, just getting through injuries right now. We lost some guys, key injuries Friday night. So we got more younger guys in, uh, got them some, some, some reps, got them a good bit of reps. Uh, kids like Luke Burr, Makai Priller. Um, just getting a lot of kids on the field, getting them the experience, getting them ready for, you know, probably playing this week, next week, and, and definitely in the next year. What were some of the things that you saw that you – liked from those young guys as soon as you put them into the situation at the varsity level uh flying flying down running the alleys uh playing physical uh just playing playing football and not hesitating even though they're young guys they they made a decision and they got it they got down in the box helped with the run game uh had a couple pass breakups they're 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 hungry they're learning um it's just step by step guess on the flip side of the things what were some of the things that went wrong to contribute to the outcome in the game that you guys need to fix i mean the biggest thing is you know sustain drives and finish them uh, i mean we got and we got inside the red zone four times didn't finish uh got inside the, the 30 a couple times didn't finish um I mean, it's just all those little little things that you know we've been working on. We can we can drive the ball 40, 50 yards, and then it gets to a stall point. Um, you know, and that just that's just with experience and understanding. You know, where they're coming from, blitz game, uh, stunts, all that stuff, uh, and that's the biggest thing right now is just staying in the drives. A losing streak is a tough thing to deal with, uh, especially for kids who might not be used to. Uh, it, how do you make sure that the positivity, the excuse me, positivity stays in that uh, they're still inspired to go out there on a daily basis and practice and in the game and bring their best effort and not give up? I mean, the the, the thing about it is our seniors are still you know leading and teaching and and trying to help pull these young guys along. Uh, I mean, we're playing a lot of young guys and you know they're they're getting a lot of reps, but at the same time we expect that we're going to make mistakes and. And, and make youthful mistakes as many young guys as we're playing. Uh, so for us, it's you know at practice, it's been the same thing every day at practice. Our guys show up, they go to work. Uh, they're trying to work on the flaws they have. Um, you know, at the end of the day, that's why I keep I keep telling everybody that's the one thing out here. These kids, they've been through so much adversity, no matter what, that they're going to keep showing up. They're going to keep working. They're going to keep grinding. Uh, that's just the type of mentality. Uh, that these kids have out here this week the regular season comes to an end before we take a look at the matchup against spring mills been kind of trying to ask uh coaches this same question of looking back at the season when you are sitting there at the start week one what are some things that you see within your team now that you didn't expect to see from them uh, I think the, the biggest thing is from week one to where we're at now is the the young kids stepping up and playing a, a major role in what we're trying to do. Um, I think we we didn't expect to play this much youth this early, but we've had to due to some injuries and some other things. But at the end of the day, I, I think that's the biggest thing. And the thing with these young kids, uh, they come in and they, they don't know any better, so they just compete. And I think that's the number one thing that right now is where we were at to where we are now. is It's it's a new drive. Like, they're coming in, they're competing for jobs, they're competing to get on the field, and they're competing when they actually get on the field to play. Let's now take a look at the matchup. It's Spring Mills, a rivalry game uh for you guys so let's start with that first what is the excitement around the uh rivalry on the Hedgesville side of things when you look at the schedule and see the Cardinals yeah anytime you get in the, the rivalry game and yeah, all the kids get excited for it on both sides and you know and for us it's it's another opportunity to go out and play one of the state elite teams and for us I mean you, you look up and down our schedule I mean it's we ran the gauntlet here since uh, pretty much week four on. We played pretty much top five, top seven teams, uh, except for one game. And I mean, it's another opportunity for us to go out and you know compete against a really good team and, and get ready for get ready for playoffs. What are the things that you're looking at in Spring Mills that uh, stand out to you? <laughs> They're fast. Uh, they got a lot of team speed. They fly around. They play with energy. 
Uh, they got a swagger about them. Um, they got good size up front. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, there's a reason that, you know, they're one of the elite teams in the state. And that, I mean, it's on film. Film to seeing them in person, it's, it, it doesn't. The film don't lie. You mentioned the speed. What are some things that you guys are able to do to either match that or contain that? I think the biggest thing is about it is making sure we're in the alignment assignment in the right spots. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we don't, we don't really have a whole lot of uh, guys that can run like those guys. So for us, it's got to be making sure we're in the right spot, cutting angles off, uh, using the sideline as extra defenders. And it's just little things like that for us. And it's, I mean, if we're out of alignment and we're undisciplined, you know, with as much speed as they got, it can turn into a long night. Defensively, they've been lights out pretty much all year long. What are some of the, I guess, wrinkles that you might side to bring to try to catch them off guard to bring success offensively no i mean we've been we've been looking at different stuff throughout the year to try to get give our guys a a leg up here and there uh but at the end of the day we are what we are uh we're going to still try to run the football we're going to try to establish a run early take our shots when we can but you know at this point in the season you are what you are um now it's just making sure everything's fine-tuned before you go into that next phase which which starts next week. All right, Coach, anything else about the matchup? If not, we'll get to the fun question. That's it. All right, fun question. We're flipping it, allowing you to ask a fun question to me this week. Oh, oh Fire man. away. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I'm not thinking. I'm drawing a blank. I've been so sick this week. Oh, no. Yeah, it's been miserable. This weather's getting me. Well, I hope you're able to at least enjoy the uh, nice weather that you got. Yeah, here what, today. What, 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 what we have of it, yes. So. All right, I guess I'll have to give you a pass unless you can think of something last second. No, I got nothing, babe. Okay, thank you, Coach. I appreciate it.